Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video we are going to solve the 26th question from CBSC class 10 2023-24 Additional practice questions for mathematics standard with subject code 041 Section C where each question is of 3 marks Now this question is from the real numbers chapter Prime factorization of 3 numbers A, B and C is given below such that P is less than Q is less than R and P, Q and R are natural numbers. The largest number that divides A, B and C without leaving a remainder is 30. And the smallest number that leaves a remainder of 2 when divided by each of A, B and C is 5402. Find the value of A, B and C and show your work. So let us understand the question first. They have given us three numbers A, B and C which have been prime factorized already and here we can see A, B and C all have 2, 3 and 5 as their prime factors and each one is raised to a power of P, Q and R. We do not know the value of P, Q and R but they have given a hint that the value of P is less than value of Q is less than value of R and all the three are natural numbers. Natural numbers are the numbers which start from 1 and extend to positive infinite numbers. Now the other thing they have given is the largest number that is going to divide ABC without leaving a remainder is 30. That means they are talking about the HCF over here. So let me write here HCF. Now let us find out the HCF of ABC first. Now we can see that in A, B and C all the three numbers have prime factors 2, 3 and 5 in it. So let us write here 2 times 3 times 5. Now we need to know what are the powers of 2, 3 and 5 in terms of P, Q and R. Now remember that HCF always represents a value which is equal to the smallest value among the given numbers. And here we have seen that P is the smallest value out of Q and R. So in A, B and C, 2 to the power of P becomes the smallest number because P is the smallest value here. And in 3, P again becomes the smallest value which is given here. And in 5, also we have the smallest power of 5 as 5 to the power of P. So we get the HCF of A, B, C as 2 raised to p times 3 raised to p times 5 raised to p. But here they have given that the highest common factor is 30. So we can equate this highest common factor of ABC which we got is equal to 30. Now for this one we are going to make use of laws of exponents or laws of indices. If each term has the same power we can simply write it as 2 times 3 times 5 and this entire thing will be raised to the power of p because all the three have same powers. So let us write it equal to 30. Now here 2 times 3 is 6 and 6 times 5 is 30. So 30 to the power of p is equal to now 30 I can write it as 30 to the power of 1 because 30 to the power of 1 is 30 itself. Now here in these two the bases that is 30 and 30 are same. So if bases are same we can directly equate the powers. So we get the value of P as 1. So we have found the value of P that is by using the HCF of ABC. Similarly let us try to find out the value of Q and R by using the lowest common multiple that is the smallest number for ABC. Now let me write here. So LCM of ABC is. Now likewise for HCF as we saw the lowest powers of 2, 3 and 5. For LCM also we are going to take the prime factors as 2 times 3 times 5. And the only difference is for the LCM we look at the highest power. Highest power of 2, highest power of 3 and highest power of 5 among ABC. Now in ABC among the two we have 2 raised to R as the highest number because R is the highest value in these three. So let us write here 
2 is raised to the power of r. Now let us check for 3. Now among 3 we have the highest power of 3 as r again. So let us write here r. And for 5 let us see what is the highest power. So q p p. Since p is smaller than q the highest value of 5 is going to be phi raised to q. So let me write here phi raised to q. So remember for HCF we take the lowest power and for LCM we take the highest power. Now to find out the value of r and q, they have given a hint in the second point. The smallest number that leaves a remainder of 2 when divided by each of a, b, c is 5402. That means we are going to equate this LCM which we got and write it as 5402 and since it leaves a remainder of 2, we are going to subtract that remainder from our number. So we are going to get it as 2 to the power of r times 3 to the power of r times 5 to the power of q is equal to 5400. Now since we have to find out the value of r in q, we are going to prime factorize 5400 and we know the prime factors we have to use here is 2, 3 and 5. So let us start with the prime factorization. So 5400, let us start by 3. So 3 1 times is 3 and 2 is a remainder. 3 8 times is 24 and 2 zero is here. Now 1800 again goes in the table of 3. 3 600 times is 1800. Now again 600 goes in the table of 3. So 3 200 times is 600. Now 200 goes in the table of 2. So 200 times is 200 and then we have 2, 50 times is 100 and again 2, 25 times is 50 and 25 goes in the table of 5. So 5, 5 times is 25 and here finally 5, 1 times is 5. So let us write in the form of powers now. So we are going to write the LCM 2 to the power of R times 3 to the power of r times 5 to the power of q is equal to now let us write 2 to the power of 3 we are going to write here times 3 now in the prime factorization 3 has occurred 3 times so 3 to the power of 3 times 5 5 has occurred 2 times so 5 to the power of 2 now comparing we can see that the power of r is equal to 3 because here we have r and in place of r we have 3 and again in place of r we have 3 here. So we can write the value of r is 3 and similarly by comparing the q in place of q we have 2 by comparing the powers of 5. So we will write q is equal to 2 and from hcf we had seen that p is equal to 1. So we got the values of p, q and r now. So finally we have to substitute the values of p, q and r in a, b and c to get the values of a, b, c. So let me write over here. So for a we are going to write it as 2 and r value is 3. So 2 cube times 3 to the power of 1 times 5 to the power of 2. So 2 to the power of 3 is 8 times 3 times 25 and this is going to give us a value of 600. So we got the value of a. Let us look at the next one. Here 2 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 1. So we have 2 times 3 cube is 27 times 5 and this will give us 270. So we got the value of p as well and finally the value of c. So 2 to the power of 2 times 3 raised to 2 times 5 raised to 1. So 2 square is 4 and 3 square is 9 times 5 and this will give us 180. So these are the values of a, b and c. 600, 270 and 180. So here we made use of the concept of HCF. 
that is taking the lowest powers of the prime factors and the LCM where we take the highest powers of the prime factors and we solve the given question. I hope you have understood all the steps and like the video. If you know any other way of solving this example do comment below and if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.